There's a lot of traffic on my parents' street right now, so I apologize if the audio sucks in this video, but this is the next sneak peek of what you can expect this year at Panic on Pendrith. But first, if you were wondering what my parents' garage, or as I call it, the dungeon, currently looks like. Uh, it's a giant mess of things, but that's all the look-see that you're getting. Let's come over here and you will see what I'm working on. What is this? I have no idea. Well, I do, you don't. Uh, this here is some rebar that is attached to this thingy up here on both sides. I put some wood on it just in case the ground is wet and it doesn't want to stay level. What is this white thing? It is a deer motor. A deer motor is something that you can find at Christmas time on reindeer props. It makes their head move back and forth. I, however, got this one from frightprops.com uh, because they realized that us Halloween weirdos are using them for Halloween props, so rather than have to look for a deer prop and disassemble it to get the motor out, they sell the motors by themselves, which is good because I'm a Jew and I don't really know where to buy Christmas stuff. I don't know, Home Depot, maybe? Anyway, there's a U-bracket up here, and there's a giant pole, and it's all just a mishmash of wood that's been glued and screwed together in a very messy way. So now to explain what it actually does, I have to pick it up with one hand because my other hand is holding my cell phone. I've pre-made a hole in the lawn. Obviously, I'm not doing the haunt at my parents' house, but this is where I work on things. So it is where I am setting things up for this purpose. All right, push that down into the ground and now you can see if it moves at all. Um, the wood will keep it there, but this is actually backwards because I was not paying attention. So now I've got to lift it back out of the ground, flip it around and push it down. Do not mind that giant split in the wood. I did something by accident, but it's totally cool. So, what does this all do? Well, let's get the next part of this prop, and you will see. Leaning against my mom's car, there is a tombstone that I actually made a million years ago in my Haunt on the Hill days, but I revamped it this year. These things on the back have holes in them. It's just wood that's been spray painted, or yeah, spray painted. And I can put rebar in them to stake them into the lawn. I will not be doing that today just because this is a quick video. And if you look from afar, it says Rip Gramps. Rest in peace, Gramps. Where's Gramps? Let's go and get him. Here's my homie, Horatio. That's actually his name. I didn't make it up. I won him in a raffle many years ago. Um, he came with a motor that made his head shake, but I didn't like what it was doing, so I'm doing my own thing. I put some foam that I custom sort of sized and put in his head with a hole in it. That fits over the giant pole, which is again attached to the deer motor. So, let me see, I don't actually know what I'm filming right now because I'm trying to do two things at once. Alright, there we go. Come back here. There's Grandpa's head behind the tombstone. Let's plug the motor in and let Horatio blow. Tombstone fill it over. Again, that's why I have it so that he can be staked into the ground. Um, unfortunately, at this current moment, the plug for the deer motor is tangled, but I don't want to untangle it, so let's plug in and see what happens. There you go. So long. He's going down and back up. It's a slight movement. Uh, very subtle. But that's what's so creepy about it is that you might not notice it at first glance. Think it's a static prop. And then out of the corner of your eye you see that he is actually moving. And there you have it. Let's go and check out the motor action. 
come over here. And you can see there's like literally just enough clearance for that thing to get through because that bolt was hitting it before I had to sort of make some stuff up as I go along. Looks kind of messy from behind, but you're not going to be seeing the behind. Scroll up, that U-bar just prevents it from doing a total 360 because the motor does want to go around 360. But I don't want him to because then he'd hit the ground. Oh, some of his hair just fell off. Whatever, he's dead anyhow. Or is he? And that is Grandpa Horatio. You can check him and all the other new props out at Panic on Pendrith on October 31st. More info is available on the Benevents website, benevents.ca, or our Facebook page, which is linked to on the website. And again, this is not in his final resting place. So you will want to check him out with all the lights and all the other stuff going on, the whole atmosphere. This is a quick demonstration that I'm now going to take down because there's so much traffic and people are giving me weird looks. Alright, bye.